So you want to watch this episode if you're curious about, from a credibility perspective, what's more important, authority or respect? This was a great question. Uh, in terms of your definition of credibility, what should people pay attention to, authority or respect? Which is more important? Many people think it's the same thing. All right, so nowhere close to the same thing, but I do, uh, I do agree that the robust definition of credibility and what it means and how it works and how we can live our lives differently is not something that's that's clear. That's not something that is is generally accepted or out there today. Uh, that is something we can fix. That is something we will do. So in the old days, in the industrial age, and by the way, we're still living in the industrial age, credibility and authority are similar. Credibility was given by the command and control, control structure where from top down, you respected those people. And you know, when people worked at the same company their entire lives, it was one of those things that, you know, um, you respected the boss and you did the right things and you progressed up the chain if you didn't make any mistakes. And, you know, it was all authority based. It was all control based. People didn't necessarily like their jobs. Certainly they didn't love their jobs. Sometimes they really didn't like it at all, but they didn't have a choice. Life is changing. Now we're still in the industrial age. However, given the the proliferation of what's going on in the world and certainly with COVID helping everyone recognize that, you know, maybe the way things were aren't necessarily the way things I want them to continue to be going forward. What's more appropriate, what's more profound is respect. It's sort of the difference between getting your PhD and getting your PhD in the school of hard knocks. Now I'll use an example, surgeon, doctor, Right. So do you want to have a doctor that only practiced medicine, never got their certificate, never, never went through formal education, but have done it, you know, 10,000 times? Well, some people would say yes, but that's illegal. So would you want to have surgery from somebody who went through medical school, got the degree, practice on cadavers, but never actually practice on real humans or just enough so where they got through their residency? or somebody who did all that, but also had a thousand or 10,000 surgeries under their belt, you clearly want to go after the PhD in the School of Hard Knocks. If you want a coach, do you want a coach that's been trained in the theoretical constructs of what they need to do, or someone has been practicing it, and they have the respect from building up over time their core essence, once again, I'm going to say you want you want the respect. You want the person who really has the social proof, has can demonstrate that they've done this over and over again and can uh, take what they've learned and apply that to your situation. Credibility is your ability to deliver. First of all, delivering the, the, the most appropriate truth, whatever that is, being very transparent in who you are, what you do, being of service to others and letting people see that and making their own decisions of it's you or competitors. I mean, you want to be credible. Hey, hey, listen, say here are other people that that are along the same lines of what I do. You choose what you like best. And if you choose me, this is what we'll deliver. So there are areas where authoritative authoritative based credibility still makes sense and it's still out there. But when you have choice and let's say you had choice of two or three authoritative based choices, the one with more respect will win in choices where, or cases where the authority is not a relevant concept, respect absolutely will win. And so as we move towards the democratization of everything, it is really about those people in your community, in and of your community, who actually see you, respect you, talk about you, and that gets transferred to their peers. That's where credibility will help you win. So as a summary for this particular session, what I like you to think about is 
making sure you know who you are and what you do and can articulate who you are and what you do through your CPOP. And then as you're practicing that, making sure you're then getting testimonials from people. Video testimonials are even best where people are actually commenting on who you are and what you do. So you have the social proof to continue to enhance the respect that you're given in the marketplace by being able to deliver who you are and what you do and being everything that you do is surrounding that in terms of how you show up in the world. Get the authority where appropriate, but authority doesn't give you all the right answers. It's authority with respect. And in cases where you can just go for respect, do that because it's the PhD in the School of Hard Knocks doing it over and over and showing who you are and what you can do. That's the real value. That's the real credibility. Good luck building your PhD in the School of Hard Knocks. Do it, hint, hint, do it through your CPOP. We'll see you next week. Bye now.